Welcome back to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? Today, I'm going to do Divine Feminine's Intense Sexual Tarot Magic. And may you subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss another upload. This is 21 Plus. Um, this is raw, unfiltered, uncut, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I have no idea what the messages will be before they come out. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. May you stay to the end of the reading to get the full message. Comments and suggestions can be left in the comment section below. So yeah, this is going to be Divine Feminine's Divine Feminine Sexual Magic. We're going to see what we into. Look, <laughs> this is kind of interesting because, you know, I don't really know. Do we, like, what is, what's, this is our new beginning. This is, <laughs> this is what it's telling us. It's telling us that's our new beginning. Of a of an angelic thing, this is this is our new beginning. I don't know. Maybe us we've met. Maybe we some of us divine feminines have met some new uh suitors. I don't know what the heck's going. All right, let's see. Ooh, that's us divine feminine. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of crazy to to know. To see uh, when it's our turn. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, shit. I don't know what that was, y'all. I'm going to just leave it. <laughs> it's kind of crazy when it's our turn, right? My goodness, what was that? Who is this? Oh my god, Divine Feminine. What is going on here? Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Alright, so nostalgic. Six apples. Oh my goodness, Divine Feminine. What is going on? What is this? What is Alright? Our new beginnings is looking kind of funny, y'all. I don't really know, but it didn't look <laughs> Let me see. Do we got something? We'll see. They said ass any now. We out here assing any. All right, this is two. Two. One and one. Snake eyes. Oh, my gosh. This is snake eyes. <laughs> what? In All right, y'all. Let's. I, I can't. I can't. I'm too nervous. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, this is a celebration. I knew these is going to be positive. Hope. This is that hope. But, you know, that's that nine of swords, though. Like, nine of swords up at night. That's the hope. And gratitude. We thankful for some things. But the only thing that confuses me is this hope right here. Yeah. Let's take a look at that hope. As you look at it first. That's us hoping. I'm hoping and wishing <laughs> what's that commercial yeah I see like little doves and um, butterflies and you might see some gnats now because I see something is nagging us here in this situation now she got wings like I told you what's something saying on there peace joy purity truth I don't know what that one say. Generosity. And that one say that one say disconnect at the bottom on this hope. Alright, the this divine feminine. This looking like a little Y'all always get me out here. Out here. And y'all mess. <laughs> Look, 
Divine Feminine can have her shit together and have a messy love life. You, listen, I, I mean, hey, shit happens. This is boredom, girl. We bored the magic of the cut apple. I told you, shit die fast with us real quick. We get in a relationship and the shit ain't right, the shit will die. And I'm going to say something to you ladies. The ladies that's in independent, stop calling yourself independent. Because you know what? That means that you don't need no help. We always need help. Shit. We always need help. I don't care if you do shit by yourself. You got your own money. You got your own car. I don't give a fuck if you are driving a Porsche truck. I don't give a fuck if you driving a Mercedes truck. I don't give a fuck if you driving a fucking Lamborghini Yaris, bitch. I don't care what the fuck. You still need something, all right? I don't give a fuck if you got 10 Birkins and fucking 19 pairs of fucking Louis Vuitton. I don't care. You always need something. A man's job is to fix something. A problem. That's what he wants to do. Fix the problem. So let the bitch fix it. Stop saying you independent. I'm independent. I make my own money. So don't tell me how to spend it. You need me. And I don't need you. Set the fuck up. You do. The fuck you the loneliest bitch out there. Now stop talking shit. This is who this is. Alright, I hate to talk like that. You know, we all divine feminists, but you know, we got some uppity, snooty-nosed bitches out here that got their mouths up. We can't... Look, don't bite your nose to spite your face. You cute and all, but I told you, it's... it's that don't get you nowhere. That, that scares a man off. Your body and all of that, and then... You get the man and then he runs off. Or he sleeps with your friend. Or it's always going to be something because it's messy. Okay? So just, you know, let's see here. What is that? The Queen of Wands. All right, so you standing in your truth. The Queen of Wands is out here. He, you scared to talk up about something. The Four of Pentacles. You are the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Then you tired, so you like, you know, alright, I'm going to just say this. Yeah, the tired. Yeah, here's that tired shit. Yeah, you're tired, love. You got a tired, love. Three of cellists. They get tired and bored with you quickly. You might be a good, you know, knob of, of pentacles. Yeah, you got your own money. Yeah, but you're wicked, though. You got black. Yeah, you're a little wicked. You're wicked intent. You got wicked intent. And he wants to dominate you. Or maybe you wants to dominate him. Yeah, it's that controlling. I, you need me. I don't need you. The independent. I keep getting that. It's like I'm the independent. And like you want him to fall for you. I get it. You know, I get it. I, I get it. I mean, I don't live in this fantasy. But, you know, I get it. I get where women come in at it with it. I mean, to each his own. By, by all means, do you. But... It don't, it don't, um, this is you in the magic of the statue, the statue in the fire, the abandon and the serenity of oneself. One loses his own likeness to enter into something much greater. So this person loses their self in people. So maybe divine feminine, you might lose yourself into another. When you initially meet them, you fall head over heels for the person. And, you know, instead of you speaking up about the things you don't want to do, you think that you're forced to have to maybe go down on a person when you first meet them. Maybe that's the position you presume when you first meet the person. I'm not real sure who I'm speaking to here, but you know, you're not obligated. This is not a job or, you know, something that you have to do. On the Four of Swords. <laughs> so the pleasure. This person is the magic of the fan. This is the pleasure. It's like hot coals it's does not flame but yet it burns so this person the person is hot and pat like i said it's hot and passionate between you two but it's like tired though you get me what i mean it's not real like like enthusiasm about you almost like a dead fuck i'm gonna say that 
I hate to be that bad or bad news, but it's like a dead fuck. Because, like, you want the motherfucker to drool over you and all of this stuff. And then it's tired here. You tired here. It's tired. Tired. Tired in two positions. It's tired. Boring. And drunk. Drunk and, and sloppy. Yeah, drunk. Three places you're drunk and sloppy. And then the dark side of you, when you don't get your way. Three of Chellis, there's other lovers in this new beginning. It's other lovers. This is it's other people watching. It's other people watching in the corner. There's other people watching in the corner on the back side there. It's other people. There's your two with the black cat at the bottom. You get me? And then he wants to put something in your mouth or take something out of your mouth. And then I told you, like, here, it's like y'all guys are, like, this, she's very, like, seductive. Almost like the succubus on this. I don't know what divine feminine this is or what feminine this is, maybe this is the karmic, I don't really know, but she's coming up underneath of the divine feminine's reading, because the reason why it's coming up is this is not divine feminine, this is all about divine feminine, it's all it is about their celebration and gratitudes and things like that, but this is the love affair that they are going into their new beginning with, so maybe this person is f single and free, and this is the way they want to live their lifestyle right now. But this is the way it is right now for some person right here. I'm going to get some more information to see what we talk about. Let's see who this is. Tell me some things about this person, um, Four Swords. Who is this? This is the Four of Wands. So it's the Four of Swords versus the Four of Wands. This is the union this person wants with somebody. This is the union. The Four of Wands. This is union. Okay, and then on this um, three of chalice, what is this? This is the three of coins. This is the three of cups. Three of cups and three of cups representing the pinnacle. This is the pinnacles, the coins, pinnacles. This is the pinnacles in this. This is about money, the three of pinnacles, and versus the three of chalice. So this is the way um, some one of the divine feminines make their money this way, pinnacles contracts and union this is how you make your money on your head but it's over top of the three of chalice in this situation showing all right tell me some more things this person says you are doing some stuff divine feminine this is uncommon things y'all uncommon thing this is the it's this conflict here y'all on this um knob of pentacles so you might have your own money and you might be a person that drinks heavily, a lot of, like, wine. You might be a person that likes wine. Nine of Swords. And this is the Nine of Swords. So, wait. The Nine of Swords is clarifying the Nine of Swords from the, the uncommon things. And the sexual magic is the Nine of Swords with the black cat. This is you uh, not able to... Uh, sword, the nine of swords is you up at night having a conflict, not taking, well, waving back and forth in your decisions. So, about doing it and not doing it, and doing it and not doing it, being dominated and not being dominated. All right, so tell me about the seven of, of, um, pentacles. This is the Ace of Cups. So, this is your cup runneth over for many things. <laughs> many lovers. Your cup runneth over for many lovers. Flowers, options, um, birds, different women. They, 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 their cup runneth over for many lovers. 
This is the King of Coins, the King of Cups. And this is how he, yeah, this is how he got many lovers. Many lovers. So this is how this man, and this is how he surveys. I told you he goes down to the corner block, to the tiny store, to, this is the, I'm living in a reality. I could look at this as, you know, a theoretical, but I got to give you it in reality because we don't live in a theoretical. Okay, I have to tell you that we down by on the block. You might live by church corner. You might live by downtown area where it's like a lot of cathedral churches. Um, you might live where there's um where you have like monks in, on your street or people that wear um cloth paint and no like men wear long um kilt style garments okay where their pants where they don't wear pants they wear long shrouds okay so that might be where you live at and got people in your neighborhood like that so these people might sit on the floor and eat their dinner at their house where you live at okay this person is not leaving though this person does not want to leave Okay, so tell me some more things about this cut apple, about the things that um, happens quickly in this new beginning for Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, you got somebody at your feet with the Queen of Pentacles. You are abundant, but you're taking a new leap of faith. So you met a person, but now you're going to also take a new leap of faith with this person. You're going to take a new leap. You, it, it didn't work out. You know, the love, y'all made love, and now you're going to leave. You're going to leave now. <laughs> get that bread, get that head, then leave. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. I'm sorry. Get that. That's what she said. That's what the song came in my head. I'm sorry. But, um, and I think that's a, um, one of them new girl songs, them little girls that be singing them cute little songs. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be Divine Feminine. This is going to be your coolness. This is the uh, magic of the bay leaf. This is you must fight coolness and convince your partner to gen to be generous both sentimentally and materially. Um, this will um, bring serenity, safety, and sincerity unto the couple. So, you know, if you want him to value more, you're going to have to, you know... Gonna have to, you gotta come with it. It didn't work out. Maybe you gave in too quickly and it flamed right out real quick. So now he off to a new adventure. You know, I told you, we living in the fast lane and everything goes fast in the fast lane. They want to sleep with you, hold on to you, squeeze you, and then they throw you to the, you know what I mean, throw to the wolves, Divine Feminine. And these are some cycles that our old Divine Masculine has taught us. So we should be real hip on these games right now. So when a new lover comes, first sign of it. When, when we before we take our dress off, cause I came in this divine feminine, I came in this and you was you was easing your dress down already, and he just sitting there, so yeah, yeah, that's that's what I should you showed me when I first came in here, you easing your dress down, so I I mean, and then you down on your knees, not opening your mouth, so. You giving me mixed signals when I first came here. That's the signals that you give the new and the new person too. If I'm getting new mixed signals, what kind of signals you think you're gonna give the new person when you have dress hair and then you when it's time to talk about you know putting it in put it in your mouth, you act like you don't want to, then you too tired to do it, and then now you wanna, you know. What did that tell me he was doing with this pinnacle? Sh what did they tell me? This is your coolness? You trying to play it cool? You trying to play it cool? Alright, cool. But you going to get cool and be cool by yourself. So all this coolness you playing, that shit ain't going to get you nowhere. Shit. You can play cool all you want, but where is, where is it going to get you somewhere? Is it going to get a check? 
That's the that's what we working for. We want that bag. We want that cash, that hat, and leave. <laughs> Peace and then leave, I think she said. <laughs> so this is you undressing, Divine Feminine. This is on you on over here taking your clothes off. Um, the magic of the untwined ring. The honesty and the devotion between partners are born of daily pleasures. You must seduce your partner every day as if it were always the first time. All right, so think about this divine feminine. You just meet this person and you're going to seduce him like every time like it was the first time. But where is it going? Is it going down the, the rabbit's hole? Or is he just using you for a booty call because he ain't got nobody else this night? Like, where is it going? I know when you first initially peep, meet somebody, you know, they say, oh, it's an instant chemistry and you should just click. All right. But guess what? After you come down off of that deja vu, you got to talk about reality. And it don't take long to talk reality to see where a person's head at. Okay? It don't take long. Okay? And it seemed like, Divine Feminine, you back to your old, you know, back picking up the same way you always. And you might have a... This might be your arm. It's, and the way it's showing me here, it's like two X's here. So this might be your ex-baby daddy. And this is a little boy tied to y'all. So you might got a son. Put, put wherever you fit in. Girl, boy, girl. All of it is interchangeable. Okay, somebody might have lost a child, or I picked to your child. If you lost a child, somebody lost a baby. Or, you know, it's showing the baby up in heaven, and they're looking up, which is the outside. So, yeah, and they're tied to this whole situation with the rose. Mm -hmm. And they're on the bed. So, this is a little boy with them. So, you might have a family with this man that keeps coming back in and out. And it's people looking. So they're onlookers that's looking at this situation. Mm -hmm. Tell me some more things about you moving on. Okay, so this person has some more lovers as well. This is the Hierophant. This Hierophant is very... <laughs> he loves to be the, mag the magnetic powder. Before calling on a higher strength, you must protect yourself and be certain that you have support. And your intentions must be clear. So 2226, um, this person's got poor intentions. Their intentions are not genuine, Divine Feminine. They only come in here for to give you, you know what I mean, what that D do. Okay, so this is what this went all around this. <laughs> let me see. All around this and tell me all that. Let me see. These cards are sticky today for some reason. This is the creation. Yeah, he just want to create some um, passion with you, Divine Feminine. All right, you met somebody. This might met somebody. All right, and this is the protection. So on your celebration, Divine Feminine, this is your protection. If this was rejection, this was your protection, okay? And tell me some more things about Divine Feminine's new beginning. This is the power, your hope and your power. You know, make sure you're not repeating old cycles, new face with the same cycle. Okay? Make sure you're not doing that. All right? So that you could get your gratifications, your gratitude to come to fruition. So you could get a man that wants to build. Get a man that wants to create with you. Get a man that wants to be in a relationship. Get a man that wants to be a provider. You know, that type of thing. This is the peace and the joy and the happiness. That's where it comes, you know, the fruits of the spirit. But we got to watch out for those extreme passions because those are the things that gets us in these cycles. Yep, there it goes. Those are the things that gets us in these troubles when we go for passion right away. You know, a person can wait for it. I mean, like, I meet you at the grocery store, so I'm supposed to sleep with you this afternoon. Like, to prove I like you. Like, I'm not in a mood. Protection. Things you would like to get off your chest. Things you would like to make someone do under hypnosis. That's the power you got, Divine Feminine. You could put a power on the person and make them do all of the things you want. You want a family. You want to create a provider. You want all of those things. You want all of the abundance. 
you can create it. You can put them under your spell. Just like the karma can put them under her spell, you got the same power. That's how you make it come to fruition. This is things you shouldn't do in an office. You know, sometimes you got to be a little scandalous. You know, sometimes you got to take risks, Divine Feminine. Yeah, we want to be goody goodies and we want to get that, you know, the honest and true ways. But sometimes there's a cut corners type of way. Sometimes you might want to take that path, you know, through the woods instead of going all the way down the street and around the block. Same distance, but through the woods was a little quicker. Okay, sometimes. All right, so creation, things children shouldn't know. So on this creation, maybe you shouldn't know that, you know, these creations, these extreme passions of create, could create shouldn't end in children, you know, sometimes. Because maybe, you know, you wouldn't make fit parents, you know, maybe that kind of thing. Things shouldn't, you shouldn't encourage your children to do, right? You might not be fit Parents, you might encourage your children to do things that aren't, you know, for children to do, you know. Maybe babies shouldn't, you know, suck out of the, play in the dog's bowl, you know. Maybe, maybe, okay. Okay, things you would hate as a punishment. So, you, when you go into these shared fantasies with people, you know, just expect, you know, bizarre and uncommon things to happen in your relationships because these people are under illusions and fakeness and facades and clout chasing and all of those things that keep you in the loop things oh i bought a brand new i bought we're divorcing but i bought my wife a brand new um rolls royce truck you know bizarre you know these are uncommon things we're living in the fast name anything for clout Anything for clout. Bam. You know how they do the dad. You know how they do. Anything for clout. You know. Anything. Anything to show that, you know, harmony. That's my harmony. If I don't have no harmony, this is the way I'm going to show harmony to make people think I got harmony, right? On the vibe feminine. On her new beginnings. Remember? We're going to leave. We're going to get a new man. I could be with any man, you know. But don't go down that same path and pick the same man. You get me? This is the release. When you release, you release it all together. Because down the line, guess where he going to be? He going to be back with two-headed um, Molly and Aquafina. That's who he going to be with. Yup. Out in the woods doing them. Getting them quick dates with her. Going to see her on those quick rendezvous and escapades in the woods. You know what I mean? On that ten of wands. Going to see somebody. Knowing I got a lover. This is the penetrating things. Uh, the magic of the toad. He hopping off doing something with somebody else. The power of man meets the power of woman. Success and love much satisfy both partners. So that night... That they got the new Rolls Royce truck is what they trying to tell me is that they got busy. I don't need to know that. Things shouldn't, shouldn't know. That's telling me about the kid they got already. Okay, well, I thought you was getting a new man, though. <laughs> so no man want that drama. <laughs> Not a wise, the wounded warrior. Where can I go? Where can I go now? Where can I go? <laughs> I'm wounded. What about the Seven of Swords blocking you out? Remember, you blocked me out. That's a narcissistic injury. Shared fantasy. This is the Four of Swords. We are resting and retreating right now. And this is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is being sneaky behind your back. The things you don't know about. And this is the Seven of Swords. The Six of Swords going to Kama Water. So when this thing smoke blows, I'm going to send that car back to the dealership. We rented it for the night. To maybe for the week, whatever the hell. And we're going to take that Rolls Royce just like that, you know. Like, uh, what is it? The Lamborghini Yaris. You know, all them high-priced car names. You know, it's anything for clout. Anything. Anything for clout. Anything. Future faking. Deer and caught in headlights. This is a tiger. Tiger. Leopard. <laughs> there you go. That's the seven of wands. That's the blocking out. That's the blocking you. 
You gonna go past this lion? You gonna go by past this tiger? With a stick? Talk about get back cat? You gonna get back cat? A wild lion, wild tiger? You gonna tell him wild leopard? Whatever that is? You gonna tell him to get back? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Imagine that. We in the fast lane, y'all. Eight of Wands about the things that's not being said. If you are liking these types of readings and they have interest you, may you subscribe, like, and share, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss another upload. As well as hit that thumbs up. Namaste. Now let's go.